Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know <clears throat> that there's a lot of stuff going around right now when it comes to the University of when Michigan. isn't there? And there is and are a lot of people who are very, 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 very upset by what's happening at the University of Michigan. I want to just allow the people an opportunity here, give the people a sense that today you are going to get an objective, unbiased look, as much as there possibly can be, into the University of Michigan and what's going on. Because yeah. more news today, Braylon, comes out. They're earlier this morning, late last night, however you want to characterize on it. That. Dan Wetzel, Yahoo Sports. Resolution talks in NCAA's case versus Michigan hit an impasse over Jim Harbaugh's refusal to say he lied. So negotiations between Michigan and the NCAA broke down. Uh, the NCAA is demanding that Jim Harbaugh admit he lied to them. Harbaugh will not do that, saying that level two violations did occur, but he didn't recall that when initially questioned. So what now? Because it is the cheeseburger gate that continues gate. to go along. Right. Um, Not even a happy meal. It was a dead period in recruiting, and there was a visit to campus. There was a cheeseburger that was purchased. Uh, Jim Harbaugh was not truthful, according to the NCAA, in how that went down. So, a uh, couple of different things here, which really, you know, kind of makes me raise my eyebrows at this whole thing. There's a lot of people fully upset by the University of Michigan. And it really stems from Harbaugh and how he treated the Michigan tunnel incident. Right. A violent crime that was committed. Right. Um, you know, and they will list Harbaugh's flirtation, uh, not even flirtation, but Harbaugh wanting to go to the Minnesota Vikings. Had he gotten that job last year, he would have won. Yeah, right. we all agree to that. How Mozzie Smith was handled, the uh, gun incident, which has been taken care of legally. The legal process played out, right. and uh, that is completed. Now, the loss to TCU shouldn't have happened, but it did. Uh, you've got the Matt Weiss situation currently ongoing. We still don't know much about it other than it is a University of Michigan police situation. There are no federal uh, authorities involved. Now you've got this NCAA case involved. So there's a lot of things going on at Michigan. Right. Braylon, to specifically look at this one situation here, if I'm Jim Jim Harbaugh, I look at the NCAA and I look them square in the face and I say, go pound sand. You have no weight here anymore. Your services are not needed here anymore. The NCAA. Why is the NCAA even a thing anymore? You can pay $13 million for a recruit before he even hits campus. But you can't... But oh, God. But you can't buy a cheeseburger for a recruit on a specific day. On, let's say, Tuesday, December 21st. Right. I can't invite you to campus on Tuesday, December 21st because we want to make sure that there's nothing unsavory going on. There's a dead period. Why are there dead periods in college sports anymore? And what weight do you have, NCAA? I think this is one of the biggest jokes in the history of college football, and you cannot prove lying. You cannot jump inside somebody's head Really, unless there's a smoking gun, which I don't know where there's a smoking gun. He says this happened, right? I mean, the receipts have been out there. Yeah, this happened. There's a cheeseburger that was bought. And I don't recall lying to you about it when you asked about it. I don't recall. It was such a nothing situation. Has anything happened in your life where it's such a nothing burger to you? Pun intended. What? Where you just don't remember the details of it. He doesn't remember. I'm a football player. Of course I don't remember details. There's a whole thing about that. It's called CTE and memory loss. Like, look, at the end of the day, 
Let's go here. It's a great point, Braylon. One hundred percent. And guess who else was a football player? And guess who else used to bang his head against well, Jim Harbaugh. Pipe down. There was a player for University of Michigan named Maurice Ways, also known as Mo Ways, Country Day, uh, Country Day uh, attendee. Went to Michigan, played wide receiver. Like myself, used to work with Mo Ways. Eventually, he transferred to UCLA, graduated, and now is doing his thing. Shout out to Mo Ways. When I went up there to have a meal with him in 2016 or 17, we were eating at Spots. How, how don't you go to Mr. Oh, Spots? Oh, Philly cheese How don't steak. you go to Mr. Spots? We were eating at Mr. Spots. And I was about to pay for, you know, I mean, I was about to pay for the dinner. I was about to pay for the lunch for me and Mo Ways. And Mo Ways told me, no, it's okay, I got it. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you're a college student, relax. Like, he said, no. Soup told me, he soup reminded me, you're a donor. If I am to buy a meal for an individual that's on the team, that can be seen in the same light. And I thought the rule was preposterous then. I think the rule is preposterous now. To the NCAA. For the Jim Harbaugh situation, I doubled down on what my brother Ryan Amari says, and I tell you to go to hell. I said, the reason why you want him to tell you that is because you need him to say that for you to make any headway. You blew that. You lost that headway. You lost that traction. You lost that ground when you had dumb rules like this in place, when you didn't pay athletes, when you suspended athletes for things that they didn't do, when you made athletes go through all these hurdles and hills to get back eligible for something they never did in the first place or didn't break rules or the rules that some of them may have broken. They were breaking the rules. They were doing things because of the rules you put in place. I go back to it. When the UConn men won the national championship with Shabazz Napier as the point guard, the first thing he does in the interview at half court is not talk about how great the season was. It's not to say thank you to Coach Calhoun. It's not to say thank you for Husky Nation. It's to talk about how broke college students are. How broke college students are. How broke the, the, the kids that come into these colleges, the homes that they come from. NCAA, you did this to yourself. Now, for all the people that are clamoring at this, Ryan, that are clamoring for how Harbaugh handled the Michigan State situation, clamoring at the Mozzie Smith situation, clamoring at everything Jim Harbaugh None does. of which were violent crimes, by the way. None of which were violent crimes, and none of which really matter at the end of the day. But you know why they matter now, Ryan Amani? Hmm, let me think. Oh, Michigan's back on top. See, Michigan's back on top now. Michigan runs the Big Ten now. Michigan's the number two watched team in college football in the last two years, only behind Alabama. Michigan's number one, and now everybody has a problem with it. See, Michigan, like, nobody had a fan, Michigan State fans included. Nobody had a problem when Michigan was 2-4 and four during the COVID season. We were laughing stock. Nobody had a problem when they were 9-4. and four. Even when they were 10-3, and three, people didn't have a problem with Michigan because it couldn't be the Ohio State and Michigan State. Nobody had a problem with Michigan when it was trouble with the snap. Nobody would have cared about a cheeseburger when Harbaugh didn't know how to beat Ohio State. But now all of a sudden, Michigan is at the forefront again. Michigan is the leader of men again, hence leaders and the best. Now all of a sudden this, well, he, he got a $3 cheeseburger when you're about to pay a kid three, $13 million down in Florida. Oh, well, th pipe down. There will be some that say this is not about a cheeseburger. This is about a cheeseburger. And whether Jim Harbaugh misled the NCAA or not. I forgot. I forgot. I don't know the circumstances behind it. There's so many dumb rules, I can't figure it out. Whatever the case may be, the NCAA needs Jim Harbaugh to apologize because they need Jim Harbaugh to validate their existence. And why do they need Jim Harbaugh specifically to validate their existence? Why did they lick their chops that it was Jim Harbaugh in the situation, Ryan Armani? Because it's Michigan, and Michigan is still on top of the Big Ten. Damn More right. on this next.